going to start off by telling you a couple things you may or may not know. Number one, uh, have you ever shopped at Macy's? Of course. Have you ever shopped at Macy's, Sister Sherry? Always. That is my store. I know. Macy's and Marshall's. M&M. Macy's and M&M. <laughs> yep. M&M. M&M. Macy's and Marshalls. Yep. So check this out. Did you know that a Macy, everybody's familiar with his big store in Manhattan and all the other chains right. that he's built. But did you know that he failed seven failed businesses? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Mr. Macy failed seven <laughs> oh, wow. failed businesses before he finally came up with the big store in, in, oh. in, in New York City. Mm. I'd, have, I'd have quit after like three. I'd have been like, man. Seven? I'd have been like, yo, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm do something different. I'm going to fight Mike Tyson. Because <laughs> that's money you losing all the time. Of course. Ooh. But it shows you about perseverance. Yes. Uh, listen to this one. Lost his job in 1832. Defeated for legislature in 1832. Failed in business in 1833. Elected to legislator in 1834. His sweetheart uh, died in 1835. Had a nervous breakdown in 1836. Defeated for speaker. Uh, 1838, defeated for the nomination of Congress in 1843, elected to Congress in 1846, lost renomination. 18, he, he ain't quit yet, like you ain't quit yet. Rejected for land officer 1849, defeated for Senate 1854, defeated, defeated for nomination of Vice President 1856, again defeated for Senate in 1850. There's a lot of defeats that then finally elected for President in 1860, Abraham Lincoln. I know. Mm. I know. My he, man, he, he he can fight Tyson. He'll keep getting. Yeah, up. Nah. nah, Abe too skinny. <laughs> Michael punched that hat right out of here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I have missed more than nine thousand shots in my career. I've almost lost three hundred. I've I've lost almost three hundred games. On 26 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed. Mm. I have failed over and over and over in my life, and that's why I succeed. Mm. Michael Jordan. Ooh. Thomas Edison. Mm. Teacher said he was too stupid to learn anything. Dang. She's rough. Yeah. He too. She's she from Guyana. <laughs> he too. Like he too <laughs> wow. <laughs> you heard your mom? She said turn, she, they should take off her light now. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't invent it yet. He was fired from his first two jobs for being non-productive. <laughs> Bro, sorry. some people got it so wrong, right? She's, a, she's laughing at him. She was the teacher. As an inventor, he made 1,000 unuseful attempts at inventing the light bulb. Notice that. When a reporter asked, how did it feel to fail a thousand times? Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Mm. It's funny how she gets deep when the, <laughs> when the depth hit her, she yes. goes, mm. yeah. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Mm. Albert Einstein did not speak, right, mm. until he was four years old mm. and did not read until he was seven. And then when he started to read, he just made everybody <laughs> science class rough. Nah. His parents thought he was subnormal. And one of his teachers described him. What's going on here? What's going on here? What, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, one of his teachers described him as mentally slow, oh. unsociable, and adrift forever in foolish dreams. He was expelled from school and was refused admittance to the Zurich Polytechnic School. Mm. He did eventually learn to speak and read and even did a little math. Mm. A, little math. a lot of E equal MC square. Yeah. I don't even know, like, <laughs> a MC to me is a rapper. <laughs> That's what an M teacher, E equal MC square. Which MC that? <laughs> what album he dropped? It's corny, right? <laughs> Somebody out there laughing, though. Henry Ford failed and went broke five times before he succeeded. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. An expert said of Vince Lombardi, mm -hmm. he possessed minimal football knowledge and lacks motivation. Lombardi would later write, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up. Mm -hmm. 
And if you know anything about football, which I don't think you do, it's the trophy, right? it was the trophy that Tom Brady was on a boat <laughs> throwing across to another boat really? in Miami. But only, only Brady could do that. Only Bra- <laughs> I know. If there's anybody, who, but if they had dropped oh that in that water, God. oh, man. Walt Disney was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination. Really? <laughs> Walt, who told Walt he had no imagination and had no good ideas? He went bankrupt several times before he built, Walt, uh, built Disneyland. In fact, the proposed park was rejected by the city of Anaheim on the grounds that it would only attract riffraffs. Mm. It's kind of true, only riffraffs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? After his first audition, he was told by the cast and director, why don't you stop wasting people's time and go out and become a dishwasher or something? It was at that... People are hurtful. Come on, this is people. This is what we do. We hurt. But when people say these things, they don't think it's hurtful. They think they're doing you a favor. It was at that moment, recalls Sidney Poitier, Mm. Poitier, that he decided to vote his the life his life to acting. Mm-hmm. I like that. It was at that moment when she said, "Won't you? Why don't you stop wasting people's time and become a dishwasher?" Mm-hmm. Is when he said, "Who are you talking to? Yeah. I'm gonna be the greatest actor." Uh, I could go on and on. Look at this. This man sold one painting during his life, and it was to his to the sister of one of his friends. 400 francs approximately 50 dollars this didn't stop him from completing over 800 paintings Mm. today i would love to own a piece of one of the 800 (laughs) his name is vincent van gogh golf that's how you say it you think special because he got van in his name you think special how, how how all these years I'm trying to, they need to do that for my man, Bob Ross. Oh, y'all talking about something different. I got hype. I'm I'm mad hype. 27 publishers rejected Dr. Seuss' first book. Oh, I love Dr. Seuss. 27 publishers rejected his book. To think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Mm -hmm. Emily Dickinson only had seven poems published in her lifetime. I could go on and on. Beethoven handled the violin awkwardly and preferred playing his own compositions instead of improving his technique. Mm -hmm. His teacher called him hopeless as a composer. And of course, you know that he wrote five of the greatest symphonies Mm -hmm. while completely deaf. Mm -hmm. I keep all of this in my phone, Cheryl. Look, Mm -hmm. I keep all these stories in my phone. Because they're a constant reminder in my dullest and darkest moments that that's not the end of my life. Mm -hmm. That that actually could be a turning point. Mm -hmm. That that actually could be the moment when so many things can open up to me. Never quit, y'all. Never give up. Nobody determines who you are or what you were meant to be. Nobody determines how far you could go. You know, and these people, yeah, they weren't, they were not the people of the Bible. We know that. Yeah, they were not um, out there spreading the gospel, but they were culture shapers. Walt Disney is definitely a culture shaper. Sidney Poitier is uh, uh, definitely a culture shaper. Um, Who are some of the people I mentioned? Everybody I mentioned. Thomas Edison, Jordan. All culture, Abraham, like all culture shapers. Forget people like Dr. King and all that. If I, you know, what they went through, you know, culture shapers. People who at the the dullest moment of their life never quit. I want you to know tonight that you don't have to let anybody determine who you are or where you're going in life. The thing about it is. In order to be successful, you have to develop certain habits. Mm. It just doesn't happen with I'm a failure today and tomorrow I'm going to be good. I like what Sidney said. He said it was that moment that I decided. Mm. Right? Mm. 
he developed certain habits from that point. Right. Like, like the failure propelled him. I love what Edison said. I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Yes. Those are indications of the mind. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Macy's failed seven businesses and then, you know, yes. still a business killing today. Yes. There are habits and things that you must develop in your life that are present. You know, when I begun to be an entrepreneur early in my life, mm -hmm. Being an entrepreneur was tricky for me, mm -hmm. right? So I remember I was like, okay, now that, because I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. So after summer came and school started back mm -hmm. and now I wasn't going back to teach. Right. It's like, all right, everybody's back to school and I'm home. Yeah. What do we do today? Because <laughs> <laughs> here I was, I was a musician. Mm -hmm. And so I'm waiting on the phone to ring. Right. And I'm, if the phone don't ring and somebody doesn't call me to do a concert, mm -hmm. I am not making any type of money, right? right? Um, uh, you just put out an album, what now? <laughs> Hopefully people buy it. Yeah. And I realized that I was just wasting a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Wasting a lot of time. And a thought came to me, you have to treat your entrepreneurship as a job, mm -hmm. you have to develop attitudes mm -hmm. just like you would go to work for somebody and they're structuring the work. Mm -hmm. You have to ask yourself, what is it that's going to take me to the next right. level of my life? Right. And I begun to do that. I said, it's not enough to just make a record. You've got to promote a record. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. What are the means available to me? It's not enough to wait for your phone to ring. If the phone doesn't ring, you should still plan your own events. Right. It's not enough. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. And I've begun to structure that. And even now, as my plate has gotten full with being a pastor, mm -hmm. being a musician, being a father, still wanting to do other business ventures, mm -hmm. still working in other areas, uh, it gets overwhelming. And what, what brings the overwhelmingness down to where you don't fail mm -hmm. is structure. Right. So what you've got to do is say, and you're very good at this, and you've often brought this to me too. I remember one time you brought me the whole sheet and said, structure your life. Mm -hmm. Put it down on paper. Mm -hmm. Thank God for a wonderful woman. Because if you say, okay, I'm going to handle all the pastor duties when I wake up from this time to this. Mm -hmm. This is going to be done. I'm going to spend a studio hour. Because in my mind, you used to be like, I got to finish this record. And you spend a whole month on the record. Record not finished, but everything else is dying too. Right. But you see, if you structure everything and you attack everything a little by little, mm -hmm. by the time you look back at the end of the month, mm -hmm. you would accomplish so much in all of the areas. Yeah. And it's, it's structuring things, right? And I want to show you a scripture. And uh, I hope somebody's being blessed by this. Yeah. If you failed in marriage, if you failed in business, if you failed in schooling, if you failed anywhere you have uh, felt like, man, this was the low, learn from it. Don't let it be a moment to kill you and crush you. Let it be a moment of learning. There is no such thing as failure if the moment teaches you something. Right. It is a moment of growth, not yeah. failure. Mm. If you die in the moment, yeah. if you learn nothing from the moment, mm. then is when you can say the moment was the end of you. Right. Right? right? And so look in the Bible, right? Now, in context here, in Matthew chapter 7, 24, Jesus is talking and he says this. Therefore... Everyone who hears these words of mine and uh, of mine and puts them into practice and does what? And puts them mm -hmm. into, so you hear the words mm -hmm. and then the words have a, a, a practical form. Mm -hmm. That word practice is the same root from practical. Mm -hmm. To, to do it, to right. practice it, mm -hmm. practically live it out. So the words are to be practical. And anyone who puts the words of Jesus and lived them out practically is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. rock. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the rest of that story goes on to say that when the storms of life come and beat against him, failed once, failed twice, failed whatever, no matter how much the storms come, he's still not sinking because there is a structure. Notice Jesus said the practicality of living out his word equals a strong structure. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. That was so good. Mm-hmm. Now, before you go there and say, Jesus wasn't talking about your life when he was talking about that. Slow down. I know in context, Jesus is saying any man who listens to my words. Right. And I know in context, he also said the storms of life came and beat against. Here's the mistake we made. We know that the words of Jesus, mm-hmm. they do what? Number one, they come to save mm-hmm. They come to bring healing to your soul. Mm -hmm. The words of Jesus, they give life and life more abundantly. The words of Jesus helps you with being a good husband. The words of Christ help you with being a good steward. Mm -hmm. The words of Christ is applicable. And if you are ever in our Zoom, I try to show you this. The word of Christ is applicable to every area of your life so that the storm cannot touch an area and destroy it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, any man who is feasting on my word is eventually going to have a structured life anchored in nothing but the way he views it. So I do business, but anchored with the way God would want me to do business. I'm a husband Mm -hmm. the way anchored God would want me to be a husband. Mm-hmm. So, and, and when you see it that way, your life begins to develop structure that when, yes, there are moments you're going to fall and fail, because you're so structured, you, it, it, you're going to win. You're going to win. There are certain habits that, that, that people who have them automatically, because those habits are in them, they're hardworking. Mm-hmm. They don't give up. Mm-hmm. They'll try again. Like that's their nature. Mm-hmm. They are not victim mentality. Everybody's out to get me. It's the world. It's this one. It's, they're not victim mentality. They don't live as though anybody owed them anything. Those people, when I meet them, it's only a matter of time before they fly high. That's, you can't teach that. That's something you've got to, you've, you, you know, you got to practice being that. Mm-hmm. You got to bring that into practicality in your own life. I'm going to close with this. If you are hitting roadblocks and points in your life that you're like, I'm here again, I'm here again, I'm here again. Think back to Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Think back to Apostle Paul. Think back to every moment when you saw Paul shipwrecked, Paul beaten, Paul thrown into prison. Paul never stopped because Paul knew that God called him. My prayer is that whatever you're dreaming is to bring glory to God, to be a culture shaper for the glory of God. And when you hit roadblocks, If you develop a structured life anchored in God, what are you going to do tomorrow? What changes need to be made? You understand what I'm saying? I look at my own life. I'm currently there. And I am forced at this point because I'm going to a new season, a greater season in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. Here's the thing. It's a season you dreamed of, right. but when it got here, the responsibility and structuring mm. is like, yeah. woo, yeah. woo, yeah. Yeah. there's a lot, Lord. There's a, hold on. Mm. I liked it better when I was chilly chilling. Right. But if you want more, more structure has to occur. Mm-hmm. That was Moses' problem. Right. Moses had all these people. Moses was one of the greatest leaders. Mm -hmm. And his father-in-law said, what are you doing? You don't have no system or structure Mm -hmm. to accommodate this blessing. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get burnt out and die. Mm -hmm. And it was the same people he was leading that burnt him out. 
Now, why am I saying that? If you don't have structures and systems in place in your mind, in your life, renew your mind by his word and anchor yourself in what the Bible says about the way you should work. What does the Bible say about laziness? What does the Bible say about how to handle business? What does the Bible say about all these things? If you don't do that in your life, and especially 2020 thrust a lot of people all over. Like 2020 was those moments of failure that we read in these people's story. It just... A lot of people got knocked down. But as Vince Lombardi said, it ain't about if you get knocked down. It's about, according to Stallone, it ain't about how many hits you get. It's about how many hits you can take and keep. keep. I don't know what he said. I just know he said it like that. It was good. Get back up. He should have fight Mike Tyson. The point is, man, don't think your life is over. Ask yourself this question. If I don't like where I'm at, or if where I'm at is a little overwhelming, Mm -hmm. what can I do to fix it? Don't regurgitate the worry. Don't regurgitate the issue. Begin to say, what is the solution? And you'll find that the solution oftentimes is in structure, Mm -hmm. handling it. Break it up into small pieces and you can accomplish great things. I am done. I am done. Pray with me. Say, Father God, Father God I, ask you, I ask you, come into my heart, come into my heart and forgive me, and forgive me of, every sin. of every sin. I confess, I confess that, you are Lord that you are Lord and that you died. And, that you died. and, God, and God, I ask you, I ask to, you renew my life. to renew my life, regenerate me, regenerate me by, the power by the power of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. amen. We love you tonight. Yes. Hey, why don't you consider partnering with us? Amen. 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 The ways you can give her on the screen cash app church city usa uh, that's dollar sign church city usa or church city usa through zella quick pay church city at gmail.com or go straight to our website and don't forget while you're at our website check out some of our cool clothes yes. and why don't you take up the challenge yes. when you wear your church city gear take Be a creative. picture of all the creative ways you can wear it yeah. and send pictures to us tag our church in it mm-hmm. Send us an email at Church City USA. We want to put it up yeah, online amen. and show how fly you are. Yes. Thank you all for watching tonight. Yes. Amen. It was fun hanging yeah, with you guys. Yeah, we had a lot of fun tonight. Yeah. You made me laugh so much tonight. <laughs> you made me laugh. Hey, Tyson. Man. Yeah, I'm going to fight Tyson. Yeah. Not in this life, though. Mm. In the midst of the crisis, we, we are, focused are focused on, on who Christ, Christ is. is. God bless you all. Have a great night. Thank you for watching once again. We pray blessings on you and your family. And we're doing a tremendous work here in New York City. We believe the Lord has called us here. It cost us. We are grateful for everyone that sows into our ministry. And if you're watching and you feel led to sow, you can go to churchcityusa.com. You can sow into our ministry. Hey, listen, every bit help. It doesn't matter how big or small. We bless God for you. And uh, we love you. And we want to continue to do the work of the ministry. Thank you. This is your boy.